He had, some, he had some excellent pickup blocks. Yeah. Something's happened to him, whether he's getting a little better. Did you see him running today? He's a different guy. He's got some running in the weight so room. Oh. <laughs> and that's what we need. Right. And we're feeling pretty good about ourselves. You know, a lot of stars, a lot of nice awards. None of this will help us next week. So come down out of the clouds by tomorrow. Let's start kicking our ass. You know what kicking ass means? said that you know this could be the last chance he'll ever have mm -hmm. to beat his dad. There's a game on here. Can I say the same for this? A game on here? I, I just checked it. There's a game. I don't know if it's North Penn Norse now. There's definitely a game on. I just think we'll, we'll probably be a little looser this time. Um, you know, we're, we're, uh, we'll, we'll definitely be the clear-cut underdog. So we'll, we'll really uh, you know, I think the pressure will be on them. You know, we have we have nothing to lose. The question was separate. heard that before, right? We have nothing to lose. <laughs> <laughs> it's like every team that plays us, we have nothing to lose. Um, well, what were you saying at WMPV at halftime? My fan, you're inciting my fans there. Inciting your fans? Um, um, you heard what that guy said? I'm happy if you'd like me to thank you. What did I say? I don't know. I don't know. It's a very well, benign. It's a very people, benign people, interview. He brought me the North Bend reporter. Did he really say this? To me, the quote was, hey, if we're going to win one, let's win the second one, was my quote to Lara Borden. Yeah, well, you know, people said, hey, we can't beat him twice, so we'll win one. Hey, we'll win the second one. Man, that's all I said. All right, well. Okay, I got a uh, trip to Hawaii from Pachati starting Thursday night. Three days, four nights. All expenses paid. <laughs> Uh, could we send Heike with him? Oh, oh sure. No. <laughs> you know, if you pin me down at this stage of the game over the last three years, I'd say, hey, I don't want to do this again. Mm -hmm. But like players, what usually happens is a couple weeks after the season, it's like, hey, you know, you miss it. You miss the preparation. Mm -hmm. You miss the excitement. You miss the challenge. You miss the action. Captain, please. All right, this is the road to Hershey. This is the District 1 final. You want to go to States? Straight set up, jet left, 37 pitch. It's like, I can run quick counties. Like, I was saying, you can't catch a cold. He can't catch a cold. Yeah, what's up now? I know it's trapped. Let them know it. They're big. What do you got? What about you? Thursday rooting for you, okay? Would you like to give Junior some more shots or? All right, Jeff, thanks. Am I going to give him my, you know, I don't know. If I'm smart, I'll probably say, <laughs> but 
but I'm gonna wait and see again, you know? But right now is not a good time to ask me because the last about, who knows, seven, eight years this time of the year, it's like, it's a long season. That's it. I mean, how do I feel? I feel relieved. Well, I'm just relieved that I, I know it's time. And I've always said that they, you should never hang around uh, for the wrong reasons. Coaching, records, uh, to me, and then the total scheme of the universe, uh, you know, football or the coaching records don't seem all that important. I don't consider myself old, but you know, I lost one of my best friends, the uh, best man at my wedding, guy I played football with. That's a real eye opener, you know, in his 50s. There's a lot of things, uh, you know, I want to do, and football is just a year round proposition. So it's time to uh, emphasize the other things in life, you know. I don't. You know, if he feels he's ready to pass the torch, then, you know, we're, I'm, I'm here ready to take it, so. Mike, do any scouting for you? Junior? Yeah, he's been watching some film. This comes all without this stuff that my guys are too dumb to <laughs> oh, run gee, this stuff. Yeah. You know? <laughs> they got the answers. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I gotta get over and see him sometime. How's he doing? <laughs> he's still stinging. Oh, I'll bet. <laughs> And then a parent came in and talked to me the other day and said, hey, remember those pledges, coach, you get guys to sign. Well, a couple of your pl players don't think much of them. If I get the names, it's going to be a shame. But you're going to have to learn a tough lesson that there are more important things than winning. <laughs>